Arsene Wenger is facing the toughest period of his reign as Arsenal manager credit Reuters Mazer Terzel seems strangely preoccupied with a view of club legends. Chief Executive Ivan Garzidis has just noted the hysteria that accompanied the analysis of Arsenal's transfer window and manager Arsene Wenger has made a public plea for disgruntled supporters to get behind the team. To have a successful season, we need our fans, he said, before imploring them to remember that they have just won the FA Cup with largely the same players. It was a fair observation, as actually was Gazida's claim that the team is theoretically stronger than last season, but it all overlooks the more nuanced and potentially most salient question of the summer. Namely, why do so many Arsenal players now themselves appear to be exhibiting doubt about Wenger and the club's current path on this? Ian Wright was justified in calling out Ozil and suggesting that his and Alexis Sanchez approach to extending their contracts is actually far more problematic than a few ex-professionals pontificating. The internal uncertainty that surrounds too many key players is the force that is most destabilizing Arsenal and arresting this worrying development is surely what will most determine how Wenger's tenure ultimately ends. It genuinely feels like one of the biggest challenges of his career as, for the first time, the key question is less about the basic potential of the players but actually the internal certainty of the squad in his methods. How else are we to interpret a situation whereby the two star players are not willing to commit themselves to generous new contracts and have delivered so inconsistently since January or how Alex Oxlade Chamberlain took a lower salary offer to join Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool or why Hector Bellerin was open to leaving this summer, albeit to Barcelona or why Thomas Lamar was apparently not persuaded to leave Monaco despite knowing all summer of Arsenal's interest Ian Wright has been outspoken in his criticism of Mesa Terzel and Arsenal's star players credit par yes. There is always a degree of uncertainty surrounding players at every club but, even during the breakup of the Arsenal team spearheaded by Cesc Fabregas and Robin van Persie, it never quite reached this pitch. Uncertainty back then only really related to the truly star performers and, while there can always be one unusual situation, the attitude of a player like Oxlade Chamberlain, who has contributed relatively modestly in his six years at Arsenal, should prompt internal questions. How players like Aaron Ramsey, Theo Walcott, Danny Welbeck and Petr Cech will approach likely contract negotiations in the coming months will be instructive. The obvious danger is that what was once Arsenal's biggest selling point, the chance to develop under Wenger, is being seen rather differently now by those players with the most recent direct experience. If the Oxlade Chamberlain outlook were to spread internally or indeed to prospective transfer targets, Arsenal would be in serious danger. Gazidis, though, was also justified in pointing out that Arsenal's transfer deadline day was coloured by the Liverpool debacle. That is inevitable in football and quite what persuaded Wenger to start Oxlade Chamberlain and Sanchez in the match at Anfield, when he has just signed committed and talented alternatives in Sead Kolasinic and Alexandra Lacazette, was unfathomable. Equally, it would be remiss now to overlook Wenger's extraordinary past strength in moments of supposed crisis and blindly accept that he has somehow lumbered himself with a poor squad. There was a moment of even deeper despair in March following defeat at Crystal Palace and yet, seven weeks later, Wenger had become the most successful manager in FA Cup history. It is too easy now to forget that Arsenal really did end the season with nine wins in ten matches, including genuinely big games against full-strength Manchester City and Chelsea teams when Wenger's very future hung in the balance. Arsenal also had a similarly underwhelming start at this exact stage last year before going on a run of 14 wins and five draws in Premier League and Champions League matches once the transfer window had shut. None of this is to dismiss the very real questions and frustrations that surround Wenger's recent failure to mount a sustained title challenge but merely to say that some of the more extreme dismissal and vilification of his recent record is as myopic as those who can see no problems. Arsenal's squad is actually also better than many imagine and, while the handling of Oxlade Chamberlain was unnecessarily desperate and the defensive balance of the team surely needed addressing, Wenger and Gazidis feel that there is greater top-end strength. They will point out that they signed two priority targets in Lacazette and Kolasinic who should add more first-team quality than those who left. The success in signing Lacazette should not be forgotten credit AFP only relatively peripheral squad players departed and, with Rise Nelson developing so well, they believe that a homegrown replacement for Oxlade Chamberlain is already emerging. There is also a feeling that the repeated claim that the directors are only interested in the balance sheet was disproved by the reality of their decisions.
Why would anyone who was only interested in money turn their nose up at £60 million for Sanchez, especially once Lamar could not be bought the justification on such a late bid for Lamar was that Arsenal simply could not have afforded the £92 million that was proposed until City had made a firm Sanchez offer. It all adds some context to a traumatic few weeks but still does not satisfy those nagging questions about Wenger, and whether he will now galvanise a dressing room that needs to believe in his project. It is a very different challenge to the last transfer window in 2011 that felt similarly chaotic. Back then, it was more about making do with a squad that contained the likes of André Santos, Yossi Benayoun, Emmanuel Frimpong, Sebastian Skilasi, Marwan Chamik and Johan Joru. For all the pessimism, Wenger now has considerably more armory he just needs to get it aligned and pointing again in the right direction.